This is Kathy Chase. Um, I wanted to talk about this military strategic air command thing and where they got their plans to play mistletoe with putting crap into my foot, the Dash 7, and trying to say I was military from the age I was 10. Well, you can't claim de declarations of war with a 10-year-old, okay? I was 10 years old when this was placed in my foot. I've never been in the military in my life, and you use the boot and the gun, um, I forget what it's called, scenario, the statue represents, I guess, foot soldiers, I presume, something, something along those lines. You're stating that you wanted to um, have a declaration of war with a 10-year-old. And just because I'm not a minor anymore doesn't matter, okay? Because I was 10 years old. Uh, the stuff that's been implemented into government has been by a bunch of pompous asses, if you ask me. Okay, for example, they got the idea from my foot because when I was in, what, the third grade? Somewhere around the third grade, I used lemonade stand, Apple 2C, there's your other Pawnee. They want to kill me and my children. There's an Apple... I think there's an Apple 4E or 2C or, two, or something like that. And that's the other place where they thought that they wanted to kill me and my children. Now, Apple 2C, Lemonade Stand, has nothing to do with the military. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I do, I do know that they use highly sophisticated... Technology in the military, but it has nothing to do with me. They put the Dash 7 Savi into my body at the age of 10. I don't care what, v, what um, technology that they, the, 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 the military uses that they, they, they use that. Lots of technology does. It's probably an OnStar as well. Um, you know, that stuff in your Dash... You know, they were thinking logistics, the Italy boot, and that sort of thing. Because they were thinking CIA and James Bond for some reason. Because CIA is overseas. And, I don't know. Th their motive was treason. Shady Creek Court. I was 10 years old. Um, United We Stand. That was, that was an asinine... Um, phrase made for the military because of my foot because a lemonade stand I have not that I wasn't you cannot have declarations of war with a 10 year old for God's sakes um because I was supposed to be the first female president the 45th president and so forth now this whole thing with this um no Fear Act with George W. Bush. From No Na Nonsense Pantyhose, evidently. He he makes a joke about me being a slave in that. And, you know, the No Fear Act. He came up with that from No Nonsense Pantyhose. And from um, Underdog. Have No Fear. Underdog is here. With Toto. As I said, the stupid things that have gone on in government... Um, making stupid, stupid things from my life. And then I said, as I said, they allowed women to serve, um, war, wartime to, to serve combat. In 1991, the same year I graduated from high school. How stupid is that? That is asinine. I don't know who did that. Somebody would know. Could have been George Bush. I don't know. Well, I have no idea. All I know is I was 10 years old when this was put in my foot, and it was not the government. If it was George W. Bush that put it in my foot, that was illegal for him to do. If it was a civilian, Kim or Shannon or Randy, they could not have done that. If it was Barack Obama, he could not have done that. There's none of you people, none of them could have done that. Legally. You could have not have done that legally. Nobody could have put this in my foot legally. There's not a single person. 
They mock all the laws. Barack Obama is not a lawyer. He, there's not a single law he can follow. Not a single one these people can follow. They mock the laws because they say they're the, the outlaws. You know, the outlaws, they can, they can do whatever they want to people because it's their gang and their mafia. Well, I hate to tell you, Strategic Air Command has nothing to do with sac religion and weaken Barack Obama or George W. Bush. The, the slash above the E, which, you know, for example, Beyonce has nothing to do with me once upon a time. Well, I am not a fairy tale. Um, I'm a real person. Because you put something in my foot doesn't make me not a real person. And that would not hold up in a court of law as you still going around telling people me and my children aren't real. We're Rudolph because you jam RFID into our bodies illegally. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, my foot happened at the age of 10, as I stated. I believe it was 1983. That's what the rock is across from the federal prison. It says something about 1983 on the park entrance. There's a little rock there. Um, it says 1983. Um, the whole thing is, is that in the movie The Wall, or in the, yeah, in the movie The Wall, there's a little boy playing with Coke can and army men. Is that me in that movie? No, that is not me in the movie The Wall. I am not anywhere in The Wall. There is nobody that looks like me in The Wall. If anybody looks like that little boy in The Wall... He looks kind of like Mike Baker or Nick Hexum, Schaefer. Coke Harmony is not Coke Harm Money. Coke Harmony was a 70s commercials. You know, I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. It means in sync. It doesn't have anything to do with, with what you're saying. Anyways, that is not me in the wall playing with plastic army men. In the Coke can. That is not me. And my foot happened after the wall came out four years later. Shady Creek Court, between the lot of the Shady Creek Court, back by the, like, down the hill. It was down the hill from the 5511 Quellbridge Circle House. When I stepped on the piece of glass, I limped up, up the hill hill. Went in through the kitchen, and my mom gave me a dish towel, and I wrapped my foot up, and she took me to the hospital, and I was stitched up on 48th and Sumner when I stepped on that piece of glass. That day was the day you ruined my life and made my life hell. That was the day you raped me, and you've been raping me ever since, and raping and pillaging. So you think I'm supposed to go to Strategic at Air Command, and they're supposed to what? What are they supposed to do to me there, George? They're supposed to what? Cook me with like Charlotte's Web. You think that means Charlotte's Web? You, you people think that Charlotte's Web, because it's where the concept came from, because my principal at Zeman was Mr. Webb. And where it came from was when, when, the, when the kids had him open their bananas, because you guys are bananas, you people are bananas, he would pretend it was a phone and talk into it first. Okay. And the concept, as I said, they wanted to frame my father in ETV because my father's a Democrat. And he worked at any ETV. He told me he did not do it, George W. Bush. Quit trying to frame my father with your mother's name, Barbara Bush. And this St. Barb's crap and this barbarism and all this other stupidity. I didn't do nothing to the Bush family. I don't care if George Herbert Bush looks like Grandpa Munster. I don't care. I don't care if you had some problem with my grandfather. That's not my problem. Okay? I didn't do nothing to you. I was a child. I did nothing to nobody. For you to blame me for what you people have done to my life and my children's lives because you like to go desecrate other people's lives. You like to hurt other people, and that's all you know how to do. You don't know anything else. If they're not in your group and you don't like them because you think you have the right to not like me, 
or care about my life because you thought my life was yours to destroy, well, I don't know what to tell you. You were set out to destroy three more lives, my three children. What, does that have something to do with my three sons and treasons? And the chip kid on the, on the show? Is that how you justify things? You people make, are making bills in government matching cartoons, for God's sakes, and pantyhose. As I said, I'm not anywhere in the wall. There, that cartoon character in the wall with, um, with the cane, that's not a cattle prod. That's not an electrical cattle prod, okay? I'm not a cattle. The cow jumped up over the moon. The dish ran away with a spoon or whatever. I'm none of those things. I'm not Cinderella through the looking glass. I'm not any of those things. You know that. I'm not Humpty Dumpty. Set on a wall, and autumn is not fall. Do you not understand that? You people have demolished and destroyed three lives intentionally in front of everybody in the government with no, with, with, and you people act totally void about it. It's like no big deal to you. You're used to that. You tell everybody that committing murder and hurting other people's lives and totally, totally destroying other people's lives is nothing new to you. How many victims have you had? All I can say is I'm going to clarify everything that you've done as being just stupid. Stupidity, the, the stupidity that's gone into to what Barack Obama does with Whitehead Oil and 66, all this oil talk. To the guns of the boot and the gun and the Gertie Avenue correlation, G-E-R-T-I-E, -E, next to pound, and the tic-tac-toe symbol, and the stone cliff, and the cliff, and the, and the, and the fact that the country's broke, and Shannon grew up on stone cliff, Kim grew up on Danbury, so you want to freaking say I'm Chinese because she had a Chinese Asian name. And it was, um, and I'm not Kim, and you're trying, you've been trying to let them try to steal my identity, George W. Bush and Barack Obama. You cannot do that. You have a hard time trying now, considering my pictures have been all over online. So that's not even possible. You, when you block the, the, the media to begin with, it's because you had malicious intent and you had a lot of evidences on you. I don't know if it was so much of the the um, political scenario, but it was the evidences of you and your crimes. And you can only blame that on yourself. Look in the mirror and tell yourselves you're not responsible for your own actions. And have go ask the government as a whole as a as a as a whole if you think if they think that you should not be held responsible for your own crimes and your own actions. The chips you put into my children, the chips that you chip you put into my foot, and the hypnosis you did to me. Procuring children is a joke to you. You think you can call me Asian just, you know, to try to sideways get by with human trafficking me here in the United States. I was born in the United States. I'm a white American girl with a maiden name that is German. Uh, I didn't come over on a ship. I've lived here my whole life. I was born at Lincoln General Hospital. You even mock my birth certificate with assassination. Ha Dr. Harvey delivered me, and you wanted to use Harvey Lee Oswald. As I said, you people are crazy. Okay? I can read through you very, very well and what you've done. The day after the movie, the 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 same the, the the movie the day after about nuclear war came out, around the same time my foot incident came out happened. A vulnerable little girl that cuts open her foot, you took advantage of. A vulnerable little girl who didn't know that she was supposed to have this great life. I was supposed to have this great life. And you destroyed and just destroyed my whole entire life. And then you went after my children as well. You people are really sick people.